Oh, wow, this is gonna hurt. <gasps> oh no! Oh, 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 you son of a. What's happening, you two people? Dead Duck here, and welcome to episode 6 on the Mindtech server. In this episode, Basically, I'm just going to be showing you around a little bit, showing you guys what I've done um, in between episodes, and then we're going to get down to building some stuff. Um, I'm going to build a concrete maker and probably a couple of farms, because as you see, I've got my potion machine up and running now. Probably underneath this little platform here, I'm going to be building some sort of a farm system. Um, but let's just show you guys what I've been doing since the last episode. Um, you've probably already noticed that the... Central area is completely revamped. Um, I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, that little statue, don't even worry about that. <laughs> I'm just mucking around, saw it on Google Images. Looked nice, I built it. Um, but let's start down here. As you can see, I've got a little glass dome going on down here. And that's where I got my sheep. Um, I did have some sort of huge machine to shear sheep. Um, I built this whole like industrial, clinical looking sheep thing, but it was really hard to get it to work properly, especially having to have the grass underneath them and replenish that grass. So in the end, I basically just came to the conclusion that sheep farming is just better off in a big field. So <laughs> that's what I've done. Um, look at the base, it looks really cool from down here. Like the blues, like the sea landings really pick it out. It looks really nice. Anyway, that's enough of the scenery. Right, let's head up here. Let's not kill some, Oh, we killed fish. Okay, cool. Let's go over here and have a little look at this central hub area because I've completely overhauled it. As you can see, um, my random portals have gone. Uh, they no longer have my little um, design anymore. They're just um, circular. I think that looks pretty cool. We've got a big old trident here uh, with the beacon beams going through the center. Looks pretty cool. And here we have like automatic nether portals and you can just turn them on and they just spring up around here like that. Um, I wanted them on and off so I didn't get hordes of pigmen um, in my base underneath this platform because that was getting kind of annoying. Right. Anyway, moving on. Wow, the base doesn't want to load right now. Okay, well, I have another room to show you guys, but um, the server doesn't want to play nice right now. So let's just go over to the community area and notch ourselves up to 56 subscribers, which is what we've got right now, which is really exciting. I love doing this every time. Okay, so we're here in the community district now. Just wait for it to load up. Um, because it is time to notch up our subscriber counter to 59, which is currently the number of subs we have, which is really exciting because it's almost 60. Um, let's try and do it so y'all can see what I'm doing. Not that it really matters. You know what the number 59 looks like, right? There we go. 59 subs. Awesome. Can't wait for that to be 100 thousand billion billion no, I'm just kidding um, right here we got some stuff going here um, our friend monkey here has um, <laughs> he's been setting up some little plots here landlord I think he wants to be a landlord let's go into the duck mart and see what we've got going because this is gonna link into something that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute and here we go I don't know if I mentioned the creeper charges we've got them for sale now um, and season passes for the blaze farm how awesome. Um, made out of end crystals. <laughs> so they are to reproduce. So that's that. Let's go to the blaze farm and I'll just show you how that little system works. Right, so we're at the blaze farm. I have my season pass in my hand and it's a standard hermitcraft type deal, I guess. You just chuck it on the slab there. The doors will eventually open. It takes a little time for them to get through the hoppers and stuff. But there we go, the door is open. We've got a double three by three here, made out of blue glass, so you can't really smash your way through it so easily. And then our season pass just gets dispensed up here, but I have a freaking trap chest, so you can't see it coming in. But there we go, that's how it works. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Jaffa Jake helped me with that one. Um, took some time to figure out, but we, did, we got it in the end. But anyway, that's enough of that old chest. Now, hopefully, my base will be loaded up properly now, so we can actually take a look and see what's going on here. Um, right, let's just turn these portals off. Right, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys was this. Um, this is what I call the rainbow room. It's not really a room, it's just a plinth um, of different colours. Pretty much every dieable thing in the game, it's all here. 
So you don't really have to worry about like separate boxes for different colors and all that kind of stuff anymore. They're all in this rainbow room. Um, so it made me think, well, probably if I'm going to have a concrete machine, it's probably going to want to be somewhere here. So um, I kind of put a platform up there, which is where I think I'm going to have it because I designed my own little doodah for a piston feed tape kind of concrete machine with a little bit of a twist on it. So I'm going to be building that in this episode. In fact, I think I'm going to start doing that right now. I toyed about with having it bigger than that, um, having it taller than that off the ground, off sea level. Because uh, all this, all of the concrete is going to be dropping down to the bottom there. But I think that is going to be big enough. You'll see what I'm talking about when I make this sucker. Um, so let's just go down here because we're going to need... Oh dear, we need to go down one further than that. Alright, we need dirt. We need dirt. I'm always an idiot. I never take what I need. Oh, this trident is a godsend in this ocean base. It's a godsend. Because, as I mentioned, I'm running out of rockets now. I'm running out of gunpowder. Especially now since I am using them in the potion machine. So this trident has come in handy. Like, it really, really has, like, it's worth every level I put into it. I can pretty much reach anywhere in my base with this thing. Apart from uh, top of my guardian statue. I can't really reach up there. But everywhere else I can get to. And that means I won't have to waste rockets trying to land on these silly little platforms anymore. <laughs> right. You fool! No, 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 no! Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Um, righty. I'm not feckin' low enough, is it? What's wrong with me today? Oh, oh my god. Oh, cut this all out. Right, I think that's your basic piston feed tape. Let's um, have a look. Let's just make sure this is working. It should be able to place 12 blocks down before it fires out. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Yes, there we go. Right, that's it. That's perfect. It's a bit laggy. It's a bit on the laggy side, to be quite honest, but never mind what you're going to do. Right, now we need glass. We need glass and a lot of it too. So, and see what I've got left. I should have a shulker box full of glass in here. Yeah, oh wow. Plenty. Plenty! So I'm just going to pull this glass all the way to the bottom. And um, I'll be back with you guys once I've done that. Okay, so I've got the glass frame up around this thing. Um, this is a kind of a strange concrete machine. Uh, because most concrete machines, you have your water source block on the left of that piston. So when you feed your concrete powder in, it automatically gets turned into concrete and gets pushed. But this is a little bit different. You'll be putting your concrete powder here. It'll push it along there and eject it out into this hole and it won't turn into concrete until it hits the floor down there. So we need to get rid of this water filling up this hole. Um, just so happens I have a lot of sponges on me. So I need to go and get that done. So let's do that. I hate taking water out of places. It's irritating. Well, there we go. Right, that's it. The only problem is now I can't get out. <laughs> And um, I have to break all these sponges out, which is fun. No, 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 no. No! Oh, it's guardian farming all over again. Oh, the nightmares. Okay, let's try and jump across to all of these. Shit! Right, let's try that again. Okie dokie. Oh, for God's sake. Right, come on. Do not fall off. Okay, so far so good. Okay, sponges out. Right, so now what I want to do is fill this thing full of water again. <laughs> well, not really like that. It ain't like that. I have a few water blocks, more than I actually have in my chest room. They're stashed, all hidden away so people don't steal them. Please say my theory is correct. Oh, fuck God's sake. Get up there. Oh, wow, this is going to hurt. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, 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 you son of a... Oh, you son of a, I was level 50 something, oh dude, oh my god. This is what happens when you're impatient, oh my god, god, oh very funny. Now everybody's laughing at me. <laughs> oh good lord. Oh and it's all up there, of course it is, of freaking course it is. Oh no, 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 what is that, I'm gonna die. Oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do I not learn my lesson? Right, that's it. Spare a light trap. Oh, for good god. 
Oh, I didn't put it on. Oh my god, what's the matter with me? Oh my god, what the hell is the matter with me? Oh, for fudge's sake. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, what have I done? Oh, and I don't have any rockets to get out of here. Where's my trident? Um, right, what was I doing now, chaps? Um, oh, what's that? I was putting water in this thing. Right, that's exactly why I died right last time. Let's not do that. I'm going to just test something just to make sure it hasn't been changed. Um, the mechanics haven't been changed since the last time I designed this thing. So let's get some concrete powder. I don't even know if we've got any concrete powder, have we? I think we have some lime concrete powder, if I'm not mistaken. No. Yellow? Red? Orange? None? Brown? Dark green. We've got some dark green concrete powder for sure. I know that much. Oh yeah, there we go. A lot of it too. Right, so what should end up happening is when I drop my powder down, it shouldn't turn into concrete until it hits a solid floor. Let's try it. Yeah. And when it hits that floor, it'll turn into concrete. There we go. That's what we're aiming for. Now for the sucky part again. Bit of server lag at the minute. What the hell Jake is up to? Jake and I have the unique ability to be able to lag the entire server out on our own. People get mad. <laughs> There's a dolphin down there struggling to stay alive. Don't really want dolphins in my concrete machine. I'm gonna suffocate him with a fucking concrete block that lands on his head. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so it is done, essentially. Uh, it needs prettying up for sure, because it looks ugly as sin right now. Um, but it should work absolutely fine. I'm going to chuck all of these 37 blocks of concrete powder into the machine, and hopefully we'll get a nice wall of concrete at the bottom. And hopefully it won't be too slow. Right, it's all right. Right, that's all of it. And there we go, you just saw the last lot falling down. Like that. And you can get in and out of this thing as plan. Like, it should be awesome. It's pretty good, no? Like, it's a pretty good design. And plus I just got my uh, conduit power, so I'm now like, insta mining, which is freaking cool. That is a concrete meter finished. So simple, right? So simple. You can just make as much as you want and then just mine down. It's like, it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. My idea. <laughs> For now, we are not going to worry about aesthetics. Um, we are going to start designing the farms that are going to go underneath my potion machine. So I need carrots. I need melons. I need nether wart. And that's pretty much it. So carrots, nether warts, and melons. Um, yes, I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to design that on creative. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so as you can see, um, there are loads of sea lanterns dotted about the place. I decided to map out my chunk borders because it occurred to me that if I want to make a villager powered carrot farm for my potion machine, um, it would probably be best to have it chunk aligned. But as usual, and like everything else I do, I went a bit crazy with it and um, ended up bordering the entire base. But um, before I start building any kind of farm, it occurs to me that I haven't checked my shop for a while. And Monkey came on earlier and I'm pretty sure he was talking about buying a season pass from me for my blaze farm. I'm pretty sure he's going to give me IOUs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm going to have a little look there. Right then. Let's have a little look. Creeper charger. Oh, someone bought one of those. I'll have that. That's five diamonds. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the IOUs. Four IOUs he's given me in place of 32 diamonds for a season pass. Um, I think I'll leave that IOU there. Oh, more IOUs. Four, another four IOUs for the elytra. Nice. Wow. How many diamonds is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen diamonds from that. Um, nothing from the sea lanterns, but 51 diamonds. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm making some money off these guys. I feel slightly bad because, um, I am the richest guy on the server and I'm still making, <laughs> I'm still making mad profit from these guys. Um, I kind of need to, um, restock the fireworks because they seem to be a hot ticket. But the problem I'm having is I'm using a lot of gunpowder now making potions. Um... So, yeah, we're running out of gunpowder. I need to make some sort of a gunpowder 
farm. Um, and we all know that creeper farms are just non-existent at the moment on bedrock. So um, I've had a little bit of a look and Silent Whisperer seems to have come up with a tutorial to turn villagers into witches with a, with a charger using lightning, which seems like a freaking good idea. Which means I'm totally going to be making one of those pretty damn soon. <laughs> Once I've got the idea, I will start doing that for sure. But anyway, that's enough of my chattering away. Let's go and grab some glass and pick a site for this um, carrot farm. Oh, first, let's put a diamonds. <laughs> let's put all our diamonds in a safe place before we totally lose every single one of them. Let's go and chuck them in there. How many have I got now? Oh, nice. Wow, a stack in 17 diamonds. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And four IOUs. What shall I do with those IOUs, people? He hasn't actually specified what I can and cannot use those IOUs for. So, um, I'm definitely gonna be cashing those in at some point, but for what reason, I don't know. Um, so you guys can help me figure that out. So where the frickin' hell do I put this frickin' carrot farm? Help me people, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, screw it, we're gonna build it there. That's what we're doing. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong and I'll know for next time. So I'm gonna build this glass square to encase them and I'm gonna suck all the water out of it because it's something I have to do. Um, and I will cut back with you guys once I have done that. God, you guys have been um, watching me place a lot of lime green glass today. <laughs> right, so I have my big um, square glass box all up and ready. Got a little door at the top. I've laid my dirt in, but apart from that, that's all I've done so far. Um, also, I've just realized I've got nine rockets left. I just need to see what the rocket situation is like in the armory. I bet it's dire. Look away, people. Oh, oh god, one stack in that one, and one stack in that one, oh good god. Okay, so it's officially happened, we have almost run out of rockets, oh dear. So yeah, um, good job that it's raining most of the time in my base, um, which allows me to get around pretty quickly with my trident. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's go and get some lighting here, shall we? Let's take a stack or so. I don't know why I need a stack, but well, let's just take 54. Oh, there's a parrot there. I forgot I had him there. I just transported a bunch of parrots from the nether from Paul's base uh, like a couple days ago. And they are such a pain to transport that kind of a distance. But there they all are, look, <laughs> hanging around at the top. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six parrots, including the one in the chest room. I want to name all of these guys. I want to name them all something. Um, I don't know what to name them, so I'm guessing one, two, three, four, five, six. The first six people that comment on these parrots, I shall name them whatever you want me to name them. So uh, definitely do that. <laughs> I want crazy barmy names for these guys, so yeah, if anyone's got any cool names, please, please tell me, because I want to call them something cool. Um, anyway, that's enough of parrots. Right, let's get some lighting up in here. That'll do, right, we can see what we're doing here. So what we need to do now is just dig down here, like so, um, and put our hopper system in. And we're gonna go over this direction because that is where the storage system's going to be for the carrots. Okay, let's get out my cobblestone walls and chuck them on. Yep, perfect. So our carrots are gonna go in those hoppers, into here, through this little system up here and straight into my carrot chair. Soon it's going to be time to get my villagers in here, which is a mission in and of itself. So um, I'm not going to even bother recording that stuff. Like uh, you'll probably see the aftermath when I'm done. Train tracks and uh, my cart tracks and crap everywhere, but it will be okay. So I need a farmer down in here and I need a random villager. It doesn't really matter what I get in there, so I'm going to have to do some crazy shit now to get that to happen. Oh, good fun. So I think I'm going to have to bring a mine cart and rail system from there to there. Once I've got these villagers in and once everything is running nice and smoothly, I will cut back with you guys as usual um, so that we can see how it's all going. Right. Oh, here we go. I can't wait to test this thing out. Right, so let's get them out of the carts. This scares me. All right, one is out. Right, let's just tuck some of this around. 
Right, he's off. He is off, and we are all ready to go. Right, come on, guys. Get it going. Get it going. Okay, so I've done some extra uh, little bits and pieces. Um, one, I went to Paul's base and raided his carrot supply to help this guy plant so it wouldn't take forever. And I also slaughtered the other villager because they were stuck in a loop where they were just running around in circles, giving each other carrots. And it was funny to watch, but it was really not, um, really not productive. So I killed that guy and <laughs> now it seems to be working okay. So now what I've got to do is I've got to get in there and remove all of the water from there, which is fun. It's really, really fun. I got my sponges. <laughs> And I'll be in a one wide space, so it's going to be um, quite difficult. Um, I'm not going to actually activate it yet, because that would be... Um... What the hell is wrong with that fish? It looks like he's eating the carrots. <laughs> I think I might be done. I think that might be it. Um, let's just check this out. So let's just get this dropper powering and see what the score is. Right, okay, so let's get this thing powered. Right, there we go. Right, now I've just got to get out of here. Right, so that is it. And I'm done. Fish, I'm hungry. So there we go. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that should get all the way to the top there. I need to put a piece of cell sand up there. Because that is way too slow for my taste. Right, let's just chuck our soul sand in up there. Um, where's the glass? Put the glass back. Not that we need it. Oh god, it's ruined me redstone. Of course it has. Right, all is cool now. Right, so let's just make sure that they're not flying over the top. Sometimes they do that, but they seem to be cool. Right, everything is smashing. It's working, guys. It's working and it's awesome. I had to put a little bit more glowstone in there as well because the carrots were popping out. It wasn't well lit. But look at this guy. He is awesome. He is my like number one best employee right now. Like <laughs> harvesting a lot of carrots. But it is awesome. It is really awesome. And that, guys, is all I got time for for this episode. If you liked it, please hit the like button on the way out and make sure to subscribe if you hadn't already. And that's pretty much it. Dead Duck out. Cheers. Now it's time for the fun and games um, with these villagers. Farmer, I want the farmer. Get away. Come on, farmer. Yes. Let's put those. No. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. There we go. We got him. There he goes. Oh, he's gone into a hopper. <gasps> Let's break the hopper out. <gasps> no. We just uh, lost one. <laughs> right, come on, dude. You haven't really got much choice of it. No. Oh my god. Right, so let's go and get the other two guys. No, don't you dare go back up this line. You bloody plonker. And now you're stuck in a block. Oh, why? <sighs> huh. Stressful.